Before I get started though, just check this gym out. I think it's really, really cool. It used to be like an indoor soccer complex. Then it was a CrossFit gym. Now it's, it's called Southside Barbell. It's an overall just functional gym. But it's really cool. A lot of times I'm the only one here, which is nice to be, you know, hold the place to yourself. And they got rope, ring, chains, deadlift platform. I think it's pretty cool. Smoothie King Lakeland, bro. All the RTVs you could ever want. All the things in the world. I'll just take from these cotton candies. Alright guys, so I've had a few people ask me to do um, step-by-steps of the way that I meal prep. So, it's not going to be super descriptive like how to count your macros or how to weigh out your food or any of that nonsense. I'm just going to show the way I get the, the food cooked as quick as possible. That's my whole thing. If you can get, get it done quick, you're going to do it more consistently. If you start cooking and it takes you two hours the first time, you're going to be deterred. You're going to be like, oh, I'll just go grab some food. But I'll try to have this done in less than 30 minutes. It's going to be probably 10, 12 meals and you know just quick and move fast and get it done. So. I usually do carbs, but this week we're not going to. So what I have, this one to Sam's Club, is I got um, salmon, um, asparagus, and mushrooms. That's what I'm gonna cook. That's gonna be it right there. So I'm gonna get going. I'll just probably do some cuts and show each step of the way how it gets done. And I'll time myself. Let's go now. All right, first thing, I'm gonna cut the salmon into portions. That'll be one right there. I'll just fold that over. That'll be another portion right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's gonna be seven meals. I should actually probably grab another piece, but that'll be fine. It'll be for two or three days. Next thing, the asparagus. Uh, check you can use. You got a piece of asparagus, and you're gonna just break it. And that point that it broke at is what you're gonna want to use. So all this, unless you have a juicer, I toss this out. I have juiced it in the past, but right here, this is gonna be the hard part. So I take that up, that amount, and I'm just gonna cut the, the rest of the asparagus off all at once to get them out. Get a bowl out real quick. Next, garlic press. I press some press some garlic into the asparagus, give it some nice flavor. Up. 
All right, asparagus go in the pan. Should be nice and hot. They're already coated in oil. They don't need to be added oil to the pan. I'm gonna cook those for a couple minutes, and then I'm gonna add the mushrooms on top of that. On the same side over here, I have a pan heating up for salmon. So I'm just gonna get the salmon to sear before it goes into the oven so it gets nice and crispy outside. So each piece I'm gonna actually season before I put it in. And I'll there you go, started. In go the mushrooms. The is gonna go in. You make sure it's nice and hot, make sure the oil runs liquid. Put the oil in the pan, and it's just staying in one spot, it doesn't move very fast, the pan's not hot enough. The pan looks good. So a little pepper's gonna go on. Get a quick tear in. Can it cook? Yes, it can move. So top is seared. They're gonna go in the oven for about five or six minutes at max. You don't have to cook your salmon all the way well done by any means. So it wants to be like a nice medium salmon. Quick oven trip. Cool. And now while that's in the oven, I'm gonna get the Tupperwares together and lay those out. So it's just quick, done, and easy. And like I was saying, sometimes I usually do rice. So if I do rice, I'll just make sure I start that first. Takes you 20 to 30 minutes to make it. So just make sure you get the rice, the longest cooking item going first. Sometimes people start to cook and they'll cook the meat before they cook the potatoes or the carbs. But before you begin, make sure you always think what's gonna take the longest to cook and get that going right away. So this is what's about done right now. Turn the heat off, make sure you pull it off the heat too. You don't want it to sit there on the burner even though you turn the burner off, there's still res residual heat. So pull it off the burner, put it on a cold burner. That's gonna relax over here and wait for the food to come out of the oven. Container, so. Pushing the veggies up. I only want that juice that's in there, so I'll leave that in. Salmon. I leave it undercooked, and it will heat back up when it when it gets reheated. So. It might stick to the pan a little bit. That's never really a problem. I don't mind the little broken pieces. So. Just get it in there. Lost a little bit back here. Oh yeah. Man, made up, ready to go. I don't think that even took me 25 minutes at most to do. So this definitely wasn't meant to be like a culinary show or to teach Chef Tony's cooking skills or dishes I can make. This is actually pretty basic. Asparagus, mushrooms, and salmon. Nothing special, just fuel. It's just fuel for the week. But the point was to kind of show you can get it done, get it done quick, and not to you know overthink it and dedicate too much time. Really good guys, nice and slow, keep your balance. Good, beautiful Pietra. Nice JP, looking good bud. Looking good. Nice, you got it. Good, you guys are doing awesome.